U.S. to award $3 billion to 25 projects for battery manufacturing sector. German economy minister offers help to Volkswagen to avoid site closures. GM recalling 450.000 pickup trucks. SUVs over warning light issue. U.S. to award $3 billion to 25 projects for battery manufacturing sector. Washington, September 20th. Reuters, the U.S. Energy Department said Friday it plans to award $3 billion to 25 battery manufacturing sector projects in 14 states as the Biden administration works to shift the supply chain away from China. The projects will increase domestic production of advanced batteries and battery materials and follows the adoption of U.S. EV tax credit rules to shift battery production and critical minerals away from China. The awards fund battery-grade processed critical minerals components, battery manufacturing, and recycling, and will generate $16 billion in total investment for the projects and support 12.000 production and construction jobs. The department said, mineral security is essential for climate security, said White House climate advisor Ali Zaidi. This sets us up to lead on the next generation of battery technologies, from solid state to other new chemistries. Albemarle. Open's new tab is set to receive $67 million for a project in North Carolina to produce commercial quantities of anode material for next-generation lithium-ion batteries. While Honeywell, Open's new tab is set to receive $126.6 million to build a commercial-scale facility in Louisiana to produce a key electrolyte salt needed for lithium batteries. Doe plans to award Dow. Opens new tab $100 million to produce battery-grade carbonate solvents for lithium-ion battery electrolytes. While Clario's Circular Solutions, which is partnering with SK on and Cosmo Chemical, Opens new tab, is set to receive $150 million for a project in South Carolina to recycle lithium-ion battery production scrap materials from SK on. The battery unit of SK Innovation. Opens new tab. Currently most U.S. production scrap is exported by material traders to be processed. Mostly in China, Doe said, Doe plans a $225 million award for production of lithium carbonate by SWA Lithium. Jointly owned by Standard Lithium, opens new tab in Equinor. Opens new tab, using direct lithium extraction technology. Doe also plans to award $225 million to Terra Volta Resources to produce lithium from brine using DLE. Revex Technologies, a partnership co-founded by London Mining, opens new tab, is set to receive $145 million for three Michigan facilities to turn waste from the only operating U.S. primary nickel mine to yield domestic nickel production for at least 462.000 EV batteries yearly. Doe plans to award $166 million to South 32 Hermosa in Patagonia, Arizona for the mining of high-purity manganese sulfate monohydrate for electric vehicle battery chemistries. Currently over 96% of HPMSM is made in China. Doe also plans to award $166.1 million for another HPMSM project in Louisiana for Element 25. Opens new tab from manganese ore sourced from an Element 25 mine in Western Australia. Group 14 Technologies is to receive $200 million to develop a U.S.-based silane manufacturing plant in Moses Lake. Washington, the largest source of silane today is China, a material needed for silicon batteries. Burla Carbon is set to receive $150 million for next-generation synthetic graphite that will not use material from China. Doe previously awarded $1.82 billion to 14 projects. Doe said the projects selected must complete negotiations and an environmental review before they are awarded. German economy minister offers help to Volkswagen to avoid site closures. Emden, Germany, September 20. Reuters, German economy minister Robert Habeck said on Friday that he wants to help Volkswagen, Valb underscore page done. Opens new tab get through a period of cost cutting without having to resort to site closures. Reflecting concerns about the country's biggest carmaker. During a visit to the Volkswagen's factory in Emden, Germany, the minister said he also wants to ensure that personnel policy measures remain within the normal collective bargaining framework. 
Habeck's comments come as Volkswagen's management is set to enter heated talks with powerful unions over new wage agreements and possible plant closures in Germany. Considerations that have sent shockwaves through the global car industry. Habeck said there were limits to what his government could do to support Volkswagen. Adding that the structure and viability of the business was down to company policy. A large part of the tasks had to be dealt with by Volkswagen itself. He told reporters, this is the company's job. Politicians could help by improving the framework and sending the right market signals. The minister said, adding that this included incentivizing the switch to electric motors, in a sign of deteriorating conditions in the industry. With both BMW, BMW G, duh. Opens new tab and Mercedes-Benz, MBGN, duh. Opens new tab cutting outlooks over the past 10 days. Habeck will talk with senior executives and industry representatives on Monday. A spokesperson for the economy ministry said this would be a virtual exchange with carmakers and suppliers. With the aim being to make Germany a leading market for electric vehicles. Germany's government is currently closely watching the situation at Volkswagen, which employs around 300.000 people in Europe's top economy and that it was in talks with all sides, GM recalling 450.000 pickup trucks. SUVs over warning light issue. Washington, September 20, Reuters, General Motors, GM, N. Opens new tab is recalling about 450.000 pickup trucks and SUVs in the United States due to a potentially inoperative low brake fluid warning light. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration said on Friday, the recall includes 2023 model year Chevrolet Silverado 1500, GMC Sierra 1500, 2023-2024 Chevrolet Tahoe, Suburban, GMC Yukon, Yukon XL, Cadillac Escalade and Escalade ESV models. The electronic brake control module software on impacted vehicles may fail to display a warning light when a loss of brake fluid occurs. NHTSA said, dealers will remedy the issue with an over-the-air update to fix the electronic brake control module software. No injuries or crashes have been reported. GM said, GM said a company engineer submitted the issue to its, speak up for safety, program in April after observing no illumination of the required telltale during a forced brake fluid leak test.